And this is what Neringa drinks during our trips. Myself, I am cola guy, but that's just how it happens. Wow! Welcome. Borderline of Estonia and Latvia. What we're doing here, both actually gonna to start in Tartu Marathon on Sunday, but because more or less everything was booked, which is at least below 100, we decided to stay here in like under 100 kilometers uh, from pre start and we will move to race location on Sunday morning. This apartment looks like old house. And that's how the bikes are placed in empty spaces. How the bikes happen to be here already. We kind of make our travels to race destination. I don't have intensive training. Today it was six hours uh, trip. It's very good idea to spin up the legs. So for that reason, we don't remove the bikes, come to the apartment and go out afterwards. We just go there, change the clothes and straight from the rooftop ride for one hour or so. And uh, we're going to stay there for a very short time. But on Sunday, we are going to meet in Otapa and then hopefully in Elva. So we will meet there. This could have been the race like any else. The start, a bit of racing and then the finish at the end. However, this time it included a pretty nasty crash over the bars and then a tiny spice to that. Quite a lot of ups and downs during this race as well as playing the games. And last but not least, there were some drama. What the fuck is wrong with you? So if you're into dramatic things, this might be a race analysis for you. Go, 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 go! Whee! Doors are wide enough to fit two bikes simultaneously. But it's not about the bikes now. Four kilometers away and we are riding with a car on the international drive without cars day. We are just saving our legs. Actually, mine legs. Wonder where he is going. Hmm. What I'm doing here? Practicing the finish straight. Should I do some sprints or what? <laughs> and I also took uh, the starting package. Tom 10 is about 10s. 3 plus 8 plus 8 equals 19. 19 is 1 plus 9 equals 10. I can help it. In case you wonder what Hania 100 is, it's probably one of the hardest MTB events in the Baltics region where you have to go for 100 kilometers, obviously, because it's Hania 100 in Estonia and it's almost 2K of elevation. So if you are familiar with Baltics, then we talk about elevation. In our region, it's more like small steep ups and then downs. So in 100 km 2K of elevation is pretty much a lot. If you are not familiar with what Estonian's land looks like, a lot of swamps, uh, lots of roots, and in general, I believe it's going to be wet. It's a map. Should I explore this in the evening or take tomorrow in the race? <laughs> It's nice. Based on that, you can have a look where the swamps are and where potentially you're going to get wet. The start is going to be there and we will go far distance to the Hania region, switch and return back. It's so simple, uh, just 100 kilometers and hopefully I will fit it in five hours. Unlikely, I guess. So it's more like from five to six, most likely. The number. So I just need to add Tom 10 here, few letters here, and it will be Tom 10 crafted. Bumbo. 
I wonder how the packages can be added. Basically, there is a service where you can pack your stuff and send it to the service points and there pick it up uh, from during the race. We don't have any stickers here uh, for our number, so I have no idea how it will work. And most likely I will just pack all the gels in my bag and hopefully will carry it for all five hours or so. so how much gels should I use? We will see on the race day. Will I stop for sausages and pickles? Probably not. I hope to eat them at the finish, so we will see how it goes. Welcome to our new crib, which is already one week old. Second floor to the right. It is as it is. Vitotas could be our sponsor because even in Latvia and Estonia and even Slovakia we drink it. Was it in Slovakia? No? <laughs> no? It wasn't? For Hania 100. So this was our flat for one week. After Tartu we arrived to Bor because here Hania 100 is going to happen. We basically spent time here, made few rides and watched the office. How much we spent on this one week rental, the price will be here. One important thing I usually do before the race is to check if everything's fine. It would be also a good idea to check all the pivots. If you don't know it yet, clean bike goes faster. So when you add the number, make sure that you don't have any oil on your uh, belly. But if you do, just make sure that when suspension is open, it just doesn't mess things up. how and why we plan our logistics to the race destinations. I try to plan the races in a way that if we go long mile distance into one direction, we would go at least few races in that place. And the reason being is that, let's say you go to the race destination and back and it's uh, 1000 kilometers in total. So 1000, depending on your car, can cost you from 100 to 200 just in fuel. Let's just add the time spent on the road. In the last video, one guy mentioned that the four bikes on the roof rack on Skoda Superb, it increased fuel consumption by five liters. So that's a lot. I never thought that resin potentially might be also aerodynamic. So in our next destination trip, I will also capture fuel consumption and it's very inefficient way uh, to travel so for that reason uh, once we go far distance in one location we also look around for other races and in this specific scenario after Tartu uh, marathon we come to Voru to do the Hania 100 we are here in Voru already for almost one week the cost for apartment was 350 euros for that uh, week duration so exclude the 150 for the fuel and then it remains 200 of expense to stay there. 40 hours in the road becomes very close call whether you should go that distance back and forth or you spend that time frame in location, explore it. For those who have casual office hours works, it's a bit harder. If the racing is important to you and you want to have that lifestyle, you can always plan your holidays around those uh, events and then it just becomes a lot easier of course you have to have amazing second half that she don't bother your head for going into destinations you have to be a match because otherwise it's not going to work or if it's going to work then one or the other party will be disappointed in some way so that's also a very important aspect for this type of traveling. If you come to the same location for a second time like we did uh, in Voru this year, we've been here last year as well, it doesn't necessarily will be the same way which was last year. So if you portray it to be beautiful, good weather, etc., next year it can be a totally different story. So reduce your expectations and just go with the flow and sometimes it just works out. And talk about the exploration. Last year we've been here in Vora and we did 
few roundabouts around the city and the county. And usually when I plan the route, I make it in a way that they do not go over the same pathway. So that's how the map of our last year riding and this year riding will look like in war. I'm not too much the user of the Wanderer Earth, but it's nice to collect those new kilometers in new location and just explore. The, the Kuigula or Hello everyone. Today we are at Hania 100, introduced by everyone as the hardest MTB event in Baltics. So we will see if it's actually true in practice. mentioning that this year Hania was a verse event and it was 20th already in the history of Hania. We are done with Estia. <laughs> we are done with Estonia this year and will we return next year? Tartu is a bit of a wrap I guess for at least few years, hopefully. Uh, Hania, it's something you have to digest after such event and probably I will return at some point in the future as well. But I know that Hania's organizers has three days kind of stage race here in Estonia in June or July. Kind of simplified version of Hania where uh, those stages go through similar single tracks. So maybe that would be a better choice when considering all the Hania region in a single chunk or in a three day stage race. So probably three days is more acceptable. So maybe La Rouge. I called it La Rouge, but I don't even know where it's. It's definitely not La Rouge. Maybe we will come back here for La Rouge or OA, maybe some Estonian marathon or XCO. So you never know. We already know that the Voru it's an wrap and we are packing our stuff and moving back to Lithuania. If that was interesting to you, you can subscribe to the channel and maybe in the future you will also learn how we travel and race and what challenges we face. So that's kind of information as well as race analysis and race full on boards. Worth subscribing to the channel, I would say. Or at least watching some videos and making your own decision if it's worth or not. As usual, before the traveling, compress ports on and we are off to go. Now Neringa will be driving and I will be working in the passenger seat. Working on the race analysis? No, not yet. Working for work. Good that Neringa can drive as well. Lazy man's choice. Nice. <laughs> 